friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am doing my July TBR for you all. So uh, I picked out some books that I would like to get to in July. Warning, there are a lot, but only because I am also taking part in three, maybe four readathons. And so I had to pick a lot of books to take part in those. The three readathons I'm for sure taking part of is Pop Culture Readathon, the Totally Spies a Thon, and the Full Metal Readathon, which is run by Sarah from Novel Serendipity. And I will leave links and stuff for all of those readathons down below so you can check them out. I'm not gonna dive into all of the prompts and stuff because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just gonna tell you the overall books and each book is definitely gonna fit a prompt for each of these readathons. The fourth readathon that I will probably be taking part in, I'm still on the fence about, is the Reading Rush. Editing Alana here, so I am actually taking part in the reading rush. I wasn't sure if I was going to, and then literally the day I started editing this is when I was asked to do some reading rush sprints. So I guess I'm taking part now. That's fun. All right, back to the video. Moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the books that I will be reading or trying to read. So the first book I have here is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. This is the second book in the An Ember in the Ashes series. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to get to this, especially with the way that book one ended. I am just looking forward to see wh what happens in book two because I know it's probably gonna blow my mind and make me anxious and make me cry and I'm just gonna be like not my babies basically so yeah I'm just super duper excited to get to this the next book I have is the graphic novel of the lightning thief by Rick Riordan so I tried to read the original version of the first book because I bought the box set but I couldn't get to it in time, and so I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to read the graphic novels instead, instead of trying to reread that book. Uh, this will just count as my reread, and then I'll move on to the next book in this series. Because I do want to continue on that series, I just don't remember everything. So, yeah. The next book I have is a book on my summer TBR as well, and that is... One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. This is the second book in the Three Dark Crown series. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one as well because the way the first book ended was also very surprising. So I would love to get more details on what's going to happen next and how certain things uh, are going to play out from the first book and just, yeah, I'm just excited. The next book I have is Pride by E.B. Zaboy. This is an arc I received a couple years ago when it first came out and I still have not read it as you can see but I really do want to get to this it's basically a retelling of Pride and Prejudice but obviously it's black and it deals with uh, gentrification and just all of that stuff so I'm really excited to get to this one an arc of more than maybe by Aaron Hahn this actually comes out in July so I have definitely want to read it uh, this month if I can I I'm just super excited to have this. This sounds like it's going to be really interesting. I loved Aaron Hahn's first book, so I think I'm going to enjoy this one as well. So I will probably try and read this sooner rather than later. Next book is A Heart in a Body in the World by Deb Coletti. Uh, I've heard good things about this, though I realize I don't know what it's about. <laughs> Like, even reading the synopsis, I don't know what it's about. So, 
I'm just gonna go in kind of blind. It seems like it's a really touching contemporary and it deals with maybe some mental health issues. So I'm really looking forward to see if I like this, if it's gonna live up to the hype that I have in my head. We'll see. All right, the next book I have is I Wanna Be Where You Are by Christina Forrest. I received this as a gift, I think, from Allie with Books and I've been really wanting to get to this and it just sounds so good and it's the cover is like adorable to me and so I feel like now's a good time to definitely pick it up. So the next book is Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hilbert. I am starting to try and get into romance more. <laughs> I figured this would be a good one to pick up because I've heard everybody rave about it and say it was good and so I would really love to check it out. Plus, I've never read a Talia Hibbert book and a lot of people rave about her books. So, I figured this would probably be a good place to start and see if I enjoy it. And yeah, I'm really excited to get to this too. I might read this one sooner rather than later as well. Next book is... Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins. This is the companion novel to Prince Charming and it's based in the same world as that first book. It just follows uh, Flora and Millie. Flora is the sister-in-law of Daisy from the first book. The next book I have is Anna Kay by Jenny Lee. I've been really wanting to get to this because it is said to be a retelling of Anna Karenina but obviously it's modern day and takes place in New York City and it also gives off the vibes of Gossip Girl. I've heard a lot of people describe it in that way though it is diverse because the main character is Asian so I'm definitely excited to dive into this one. Next book I have is Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. I've been trying to get to this book for like two years since it's come out and I really really want to get to it this summer because it does sound like it's going to be really good and I feel like it's something I'm going to be able to relate to being that I'm mixed and the main character of this story is mixed as well so hopefully I can pick it up. Almost done I promise. The next book I have is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. I would love to get to this this summer um, especially this month it is a chunky one, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I've only read Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna feel about this. I don't even really dive into adult fantasy, so that's making me even more unsure about how I'm gonna feel about this. But I have heard good things about it, and I'm hoping that I'll like it, and that it'll be just as interesting as everybody has made it out to be. But again we'll see the last book the last book that i have on this list for my tbr and just for those readathons in general is arch enemies by marissa meyer this is the second novel in the renegades trilogy i have been looking forward to this for a minute because i read the first one and the book first one was so good and then it ended and that ending was so good and so i'm excited to see what happens in this one as well and just what happens to Nova and Adrian and I just want them to have good things in life but I know it's gonna be a minute before that happens probably but I can still dream okay so that is my July TBR these are all the books I'm going to be trying to read this month these are all the books that are gonna be used for all of the readathons that I mentioned I didn't want to go through all of those readathons individually because it's a lot of prompts and a lot of talking and I don't want this video to be super duper long because I don't. <laughs> but I'm kind of glad with these books. There's diversity in it. There's some diverse authors in here. And there's some sequels in here, which I rarely read. So I'm hoping I actually follow through and get to those. And yeah, I'm just super duper excited to read all of these. So if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns on any of the books I mentioned, whether you've read them, whether you like them, whether you want to read them please let me know down below if you are not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea from my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment it could be a heart emoji it could be a cake emoji it could be anything you want just leave it if you are not good with words and commenting and all that kind of stuff i just like to know you are all watching this video and that you are all present and if you 
want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're also welcome to follow me on any of my social medias. I have a Twitter, a Bookstagram, and I have a Goodreads. Uh, but Twitter and Bookstagram are probably the best ways to reach me, honestly. And if you want to get notified for when I post post more videos, please hit that bell button down below as well because I don't want you all to miss out on anything. Anyways, you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds and I hope this month is treating you well.